Indiana's new abortion laws will take effect in just under a month, and today we're talking with Governor Holcomb for the first time since he signed that bill into law. Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Escal asked the governor about his decision to sign this bill and also the criticism he's received from whether it's his colleagues or even Hoosiers who voted for him. That's right, Beershell and Dan. And Governor Eric Holcomb is standing by his decision to sign that legislation, which gives Indiana one of the most restrictive abortion laws in the nation. That's despite those concerns raised by some of the state's biggest businesses. The bottom line is that it's progress towards uh, valuing the sanctity of life and expressing it through law. Governor Eric Holcomb speaking with reporters for the first time since approving Indiana's near total ban on abortion. <laughs> Despite criticism of the legislation from both abortion rights supporters and anti-abortion activists, Holcomb signed the bill into law about an hour after it received final approval in the legislature. Given the amount of discontent we heard from Hoosiers on both sides of the yeah. abortion debate, how did you arrive at the decision to sign the bill so quickly? Well, I, I told the legislature I wasn't going to dither. I said that this meant my threshold of making progress as maybe imperfect as it was. Um, that I was going to sign it. Hours later, two of Indiana's biggest employers, engine maker Cummins and pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly, both criticized the new law. Lilly said it plans to explore opportunities for growth outside the Hoosier state. Holcomb acknowledged companies may consider abortion policy when choosing where to do business, but he believes Indiana will still be able to attract and retain jobs. A lot of these companies want to grow and their growth is off the charts in our state. Some might just fly over the state of Indiana because of this issue. I, I don't mean to be um, act uh, like it'll never happen. It might. Um, but so are a lot of other issues that factor into where someone invests. The near total abortion ban takes effect September 15th. Holcomb says he anticipates abortion policy will continue to be discussed at the State House next session and in the years to come. Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. All right, Kristen, thank you.